welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But what is more important? Today is your day. Well, welcome back to my videos. A few weeks ago, I was reading my comments like I do every day, and I came across a subscriber that had asked me to talk just a little bit about doll magic. Well, baby, this one's for you. That's what I'm going to try to do, just talk a very, very little bit about doll magic. Well, dolls, um, it, it, it is a controversy of when and where it was originated. There are so many different stories out of uh, everything from, from South Africa to England. There are so many different um, variations of the, the, the story of how they started. So I'm not too clear on when and where but I do use dolls. I've been using dolls for mm, for years. Now I might use my dolls a little bit different than than somebody else would. So I'm going to be telling you or maybe even showing you how I use dolls. Now, dolls come in many, many different uh, shapes, sizes, um, even uh, they're made out of many different materials. So, the most common would look like this. Even though this is a very small size doll. Now, most people call them voodoo dolls. Okay? But, this is typically how they look now these dolls come in black white and red and sometimes I can get them in purple and green um, and just like our candles their their color means a lot depending on the working that I'm going to do it would depend on the color doll that I'm going to use. Now let's just talk about TV, movies. Uh, let's just talk about that a second. When we talk about, um, oh, she had a voodoo doll. The first thing a lot of us think of is, oh my goodness, somebody have a doll and uh, my leg was hurting. So you think that the person had a pen and actually be stabbing the legs of the doll and you would feel the pain. Well, I'm not so sure that that's really accurate. Now, maybe for some people, um, they may believe that, but I don't use my dolls. I don't use my dolls like that. I use my dolls for positive things. Now, I know that there is positive and negative in, in everything. And um, I choose to use dolls in a positive sense. So, if you see these dolls here, I actually colored these dolls myself. And I have black, red, white, blue, and green. I had purple, but I'm sold out of purple. So how I use my dolls is, how I work with my dolls is, um, depends on what I'm trying to do. For instance, the color black. Now we know black, black for some mean, oh my gosh, you're getting rid of an enemy, okay? I prefer to use my black dolls if I have a client that need to be protected because black also absorbs negative energy. 
So I would use a black doll for that. The red one, of course, that's going to be uh, matters of love, self-love. Oh, yes, and I had pink. I had pink, so I must be sold out of pink, too. Uh, matters of love, self-love, but you could also... Um, I might just use that red if somebody's trying to get a job or trying to draw something um, to themselves. The white... Definitely one of my favorite to use. I use a lot of white dolls for healing work. Healing work. But remember, white is uh, universal. So whether I am doing healing work or protection work, you still can use white. Blue. Um, when I have clients and if I feel like I just need to make a doll and if I use the color blue it's for peace uh, court cases um, it could be for um, a special working that I'm going to show you and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about okay and of course green matters of money prosperity business luck any of those things, I would use uh, a green doll if I'm doing doll working. Now, there's also some other dolls that I have, and I tried to, to bring them out, but I must be sold out of them. They're bride and grooms. So you actually have um, the females dressed in a wedding dress, and the male is dressed in a tux. That's for um, relationships. Whether you're married or you're in a relationship with somebody. And it, I might just need to do a working on that. Alright. Now I have these really, really little, really cute um, dolls from Mexico. And this is also a man and a woman. And these can be used um, for matters of love, attraction, and relationships. Now they also come in black. So remember, I told you, it is positive and negative. So let's just say somebody need to be, a couple need to be protected because people don't want them together. I might use black ones. Or um, some folks will use black to do negative work against a couple. But I would not. Okay, so let me tell you how I used these dolls. So I'm going to give you a scenario. So I have a um, young lady that, now this is just a scenario, that needs some protection work. So I would use the black doll. Now this is just a doll. So I have to make this personable. So how do you make it personable? First of all, the first thing I'm going to do is to... Uh, meditate or pray over this doll and some people call it baptizing a doll and if you baptize a doll you would put holy water or consecrated water or holy oil on this um, or consecrated oil uh, on this doll to baptize it all right now after that and I have a client that's sitting here and this is a scenario she's sitting here and she needs protection work so, I already got it baptized, but now I have to make this doll an image of her. So, what I love to do is get a personal item that belongs to my client. So, in, let's just say it is a fingernail, or it is a piece of hair, or even a picture. Um, then, what I would do is actually cut the doll... And insert the items in the doll. That's what I would do. Insert the items in the doll. Then I would sew it up. And close it up. And that's what I would use um, to do my working. Now, most, not all, but most dolls, you'll find that they have eyes. 
you'll have a mouth and you always have something that symbolizes where a heart is here I drew uh, I drew on the doll little hearts now these little ones here they have actual little faces. They even have eyebrows and smiles and the man have a mustache. But most of the time, no, you don't see that. Now, uh, the reason why I made these so big is just because it's hard to um, put personable things in these little dolls. Now, before I made these, I was using these little dolls. And you couldn't put much. You could probably put a fingernail in or a piece of a strand of hair in there or something like that. But if you need some type of petition, because you can also write out your petition or, or write the things that the client needs and you can insert it in these dolls. But it, see, when they're real little like that, it's, it's, it's hard. The only good thing about having little ones is because you can keep them in a bag. And you don't have to worry about them because they, you can carry them with you. As a matter of fact, these right here, the couple, this couple here, actually comes with a bag. Alright? So, let's see. Money matters. So if I have a client that come to me and I just need to make a doll, why, why do I need to make a doll? Some reasons that I would make a doll is if the client is not here, not in my state or not in my country, I would ask them to send me something that's personal that belongs to them and they would mail it to me. And then I would use the doll as a a closer connection between me and my client this is one reason why I would use a doll now you can also make a doll for yourself this does not have to be for someone else so let's just say um, I would be looking to um, buy a car I don't need a car, I just bought a car, but buy a car. All right. So I would use probably a red doll. I would put my personal belongings in there. Then what I would do is I would put my petition and I would actually, while, and I, let me tell you, anybody know mama? Y'all know mama do some crazy things to some people, which I don't care, but I do. I would actually take the doll with me and uh, go shopping for my car. Yes, I would. A uh, little funny story, because y'all know Mama Love Stories. I have a doll that I take with me when I go to one of my favorite places, the casino. And I actually set the doll right on the machine. It's not this big, but it's not this small. It's a doll that I made. And I think I, I made one um, on another video. So, I have a client that have... Um, a little honey bun and she for for months kept having recurring nightmares to the point where she just didn't even really want to go to sleep at night so her mom came in and was telling me so I suggested a doll a nice doll so I made her a doll so I just got a call about, I say about three or four days ago, that she wanted another doll. So I decided that I was going to make her another doll. Now, because it's dealing with uh, peace and serenity, and also this doll would be a dream catcher. So. When we think of great dream catchers, we think of the round one with the feathers. But actually, I am going to make her doll a dream catcher. So, I started making her doll, baby. And, of course, I used a blue doll. And I just like this green. I just like this green. And I always, for my ladies, 
put nice little caps on their heads. Now, what makes this just not a doll? Well, I am going to insert my goodie bag, which is here, that have a whole bunch of goodies in it. It's going to be placed right inside of this doll to catch bad dreams. So, and I probably will put um, a talesman on it. I draw, I will draw a vey, vey on it. And I will personalize it by actually putting her, I actually will write a prayer and put that prayer for peace peace of mind and that prayer will be just personalized for her and that will go inside of this doll now another thing that I will probably give her is a little bottle of oil so she can anoint the doll but she can also anoint herself with it so I wanted just to show you um, how I use dolls and uh, there's many ways there is many ways and I'm going to sew all of this together and it's going to look real nice and I'll probably put like a little some little jewelry around her neck some little beads um, and things just to make it a little bit more girly right so this is um, how I would use a doll to help my little honey bun sleep and be protected at night because I what I have realized that what I know is um, sometimes negative energies flow more at nighttime than daytime so we definitely want to protect this little honey bun and I don't know if you have a honey bun or if, if you yourself if you feel like you're under attack um, make yourself a doll. Listen, when you come in here, you will often find big plastic dolls. And so often people say, what is that doll for? Because I do workings with dolls all the time. Not all of them look like this. Sometimes I just use the regular doll babies. But their heads must be removable. And um, I like plastic. You know, the old time ways you could take the doll's arm off and you could take her leg off. Well, yes, I do that all the time. Insert whatever I want to insert right in that doll, baby. Dress it up real nice because um, I can and I like to do that. <laughs> but um, so think about making yourself a doll. Now, I have some great big dolls that's about, I would say about at least two feet tall and um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet I'm thinking about actually um, making some clothes that's like a nun and put the rosary around them and things like that and the ropes um, I actually seen them when I got a chance to go to New Orleans so I actually seen the nun dolls and I really really did like them but I, I think I'm going to put my twist to it. And I'm going to be using my two feet tall dolls as my um, probably St. Clara. Absolutely, that just came to me. So I will make them uh, St. Clara dolls. So for those people that need clarity, you know, they will have everything they need within that doll. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And here we have beautiful weather. So if you have beautiful weather, I hope that you enjoy this warm winter weather. Yes. And uh, you just go out and have yourself a great, fantastic day. And check me out in my next video. Don't forget, please subscribe. We're still trying to get 3,000 subscribers. I would love to get it by the end of this month, which is March. So, please subscribe. If you've been watching me for a while and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please, boom, 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 hit that 
subscribe button. Give me some thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. And write me some nice, sweet comments. And if you want me to make you a doll, just leave it in a comment or give me a call. All right? I done talked enough for today. So, I only have one other thing to say. Kisses!